comparison. Now, if you look at 2009, uh, under fixed cost, uh, that's an adjusted number because of a, a number of uh, uh, the different things that took place, and I kind of adjusted it for comparison to FY 2010. And that shows a, uh, a decrease of $105,000 over uh, last year. And that's primarily the result of the uh, health insurance uh, being held flat and uh, some additional uh, charges that uh, we have to cover in 2010 and the $150,000 reduction in the debt ceiling. Under general government, uh, the 11,495,632 number for 2009 represents last year's budget amount minus $150,000 that was cut in the middle of this year, or actually in October, associated with uh, the, uh, dump, uh, the reduction in uh, anticipated town revenues, and then, of course, in January, the bad news that came from the state when they made cuts to our uh, state aid. Similarly, the school uh, budget of 22227445 for last year uh, includes the $150,000 that the school took out of their budget. So those are the two budgets, the 11495 and the 22227, that both town government and schools are operating on this fiscal year, ending June 30th. For 2010, after we take our fixed cost number, what's left is 11,678,000 11, for general government, which is an increase of 182,590 when we compare it to the adjusted 2009 budget. And for the schools, 22,669,490 which is an increase of $442,045 uh, uh, as compared to the adjusted school budget for FY 2009. And uh, just for notes, the 150,000 cuts of both general government schools is reflected in the F209 figures. Level funding, the health insurance is included in a set of numbers. Lowering the debt ceiling of 150,000 is included in these numbers. The governor's budget cuts are included in these numbers for FY 2010. Without the increase in his proposed meal and loan tax, and the reason why we haven't included that at this point is that that's not for certain at this point, and uh, we're waiting to hear as you know, the state budget goes through its process over the next few months. Next slide. So the reasons for minimal revenue growth this year. Uh, new growth, that is, new growth is new development in town, uh, and that would be, you know, it's basically based on building permits, whether they're uh, additions to homes, fixes to homes, or, you know, new, uh, new homes, and as we all know, that's down, and the anticipated new growth uh, in 2010, it's $270,000. And that's a decrease over this past year of $611,000. So you can see right away why we're in such uh, shape <coughs> with our revenue for 2010. Local aid. Uh, local aid is... Uh, has been cut by the governor. It was actually a $630,000 cut. Uh, however, uh, the uh, 440 is uh, an adjusted number associated with the fact that uh, the, uh, the budgets have been uh, reduced. The uh, Chapter 70 uh, number as you recall, the governor said he was holding Chapter 70 flat. So this is the same number as we received this past year, meaning there's no change there. And then our local receipts, uh, they've changed by uh, minus $189,000. And that's local receipts would be building permits. One of the big numbers is our motor vehicle excise tax. 
keeping our fingers crossed that the adjustment that we've made is right. But we don't know uh, for FY 2009 yet is what the total uh, excise tax commitment is. Generally, the, the larger portion of those bills get mailed out in February, the end of February, beginning of March. This year, the registry failed to send in, I think it was the trucks. So as a result, uh, we didn't get a full billing and we can't compare it against last year. But we have made adjustments down and uh, hopefully we've uh, made enough adjustments. So if you look at the footnotes here, under the FY 2010, $270,000, the very center is complete. New construction is down to the economy. That's what's driving that. And by the way, the $270,000, I believe, has $150,000 of additional growth of the completion of the Berry Center. So you can see that the building in town has come to a grinding halt. Uh, to the governor's cut, the local aid compared to 2009 budget is $630,000. I mentioned that. And then another interesting point, and this shows you what happens. The last in FY 2008, not this year, FY 2008, right, we received an increase in Chapter 70 of $857,000. Maybe I should say in, in local aid, combined it in $857,000 in local aid. And then this past year, 2009, we originally budgeted zero increase over last year. And then we took a cut on top of it. You know, if you look at the span of that, we're talking about close to over a million dollars, one point two million dollars roughly. And that's significant in terms of the impact on our ability to fund 2010 budgets. These permits and motor vehicle excise tax are down to the economy, and that's uh, FY 2010, the uh, four million and seventy thousand dollar figure. I'm rattling up a lot of numbers here, and uh, we can get to ask questions or come back to specific slides. Okay, maintaining services in the current economy. How do we do it? Modify employee health insurance plan and match the benefits and costs of the GIC, and that's reflected in our budgeting of uh, level funding of uh, health insurance <coughs> for this year. Free salaries and step increases for FY 2010. Of course, that's subject to contract negotiations. And I'm pleased to say we've made some progress in that area. Our employees are uh, willing to help out to uh, help uh, preserve jobs and services for the community. We should be grateful for that. And adjust expense budget increases to available funds. Uh, no across the board cuts. Now, the town is gone through a minus 3% budget, and I'll explain that later, but we have made adjustments in, in department areas where 3% didn't work. Some departments may have taken a bigger cut than 3%, and others may not have. Uh, and, you know, in our first round of budget hearings, uh, crossing guards and animal control were eliminated from the budgets, and the board has put those back. And just a note, for it, to achieve items one and two uh, will result in cuts, uh, cuts to services and corresponding employee layoffs. Genius. So the general government minus 3% budget. You take a look at the uh, original, when we started our budget process in, uh, in August, we took our original budget and uh, this went for schools too, and we had, and we started with a three percent increase for general government from last year, and a six percent increase allocation to the schools from next year. And uh, for the town side, the eleven billion nine nine five zero one is the uh, original uh, would have been the original two thousand and nine budget plus three percent. When we adjusted the budget to 11,495,632, we appropriately uh, get an adjusted budget of 11,676,222. So we're actually in FY 2009 operating on the adjusted budget, and an adjusted budget with a 3% increase uh, for, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the adjusted budget, this 11,678,222 is 
based on our revenue projections, this is what would be available in the split for general government. A minus 3% budget yields an 11296263 figure. We've put back crossing guards, animal office, fire safety equipment, legal expenses, ambulance billing services, and tax title, bringing that figure up to 11,397.7. So you might ask, you know, why do we have to cut so deep? If we've got a surplus. Well, it isn't a surplus. Uh, and I'll get into snow and ice in a little bit, but uh, we will have to cover this year's, part of this year's snow and ice deficit next year. If we don't, it comes off the top of the revenue plan and therefore it's less money to spend. So what we're doing, since it's really part of the town budget, we're planning on covering in 2010 a major chunk of this year's snow and ice deficit. And of course with today's storm and something, you know, the, the, the message has gotten worse. So cuts required to balance the 2010 budget. Uh, these numbers can change as a result of contract negotiations and our ability to uh, convince our unions to accept a zero uh, increase. But uh, this one patrolman position has been eliminated. Uh, DPW mechanic, one position eliminated. Fire overtime, 515 hours of overtime. Training and storm coverage has been eliminated from the budget. Building department, uh, reduction of hours. DPW, uh, engineering, admin, cemetery, parks, and town buildings, 24,119. Library, reduced hours, five hours per week, which is a savings of 12,891. And police reserve offices, there's four positions, basically, that are not being filled with $50,000. And that's a savings of $215,000 in the budget. Then if we look at expense items in the police, I won't go through all of the items so you can see them, is $85,474. Uh, fire expenses is $31,920. Uh, DPW is $9050. Uh, and then these are the smaller departments, CPC, town clerk, treasurer, collector, and health services in total for $31,954. And some additional small departments uh, accounting, building department, elderly services, parks and rec, CBA, conservation, library and administration, the total of, uh, and I have an error here, I apologize, I don't have the total properly. Uh, I think it was 44,700. Uh, so this means that uh, these numbers here are incorrect too, but I can fix them for you. Salaries, police expenses, just the total is 388. I think that should be uh, 418. I think that's the proper number. Snow and ice. We budgeted uh, $300,000 uh, for snow and ice. A piece of it is in the operating budget and a piece we hold out uh, for uh, out of our revenue stream. That totals $300,000. The current deficit, I should add, basically the deficit that we actually have figures for was as of February 25, 2009. We had a deficit of $321,500. Uh, that's on top of the $300,000. Uh, the weekend storm this, this weekend, uh, it's an estimate, $100,000. It's going to be between 80 and 100. Uh, and the contingency for the rest of March, keep your fingers crossed, and allocating $50,000. So that brings the total deficit to $421,595. And uh, the deficit will be funded at the April Special Town Meeting, $257,000, and the balance funded from FY 2010 revenue. Issues impacting the 2010 budget, we've gone over these. Snow and ice deficit, 321.595, and that's grown, of course. The health insurance, 283.814, we're taking out salaries. Fuel cost increase, we budgeted for 3%. Uh, we're keeping our fingers for 